Have you ever heard about an island that turned into a real magnet for sharks? And about a place that was converted into a nightmare for arachnophobes by hundreds of thousands of spiders? Not all of Earth's land is ruled by humans. Some of the islands are overrun and ruled by creatures like sharks, cats, and even pigs. But watch out, because while some are friendly, others are fatal. In our episode today, you'll see places fully invaded by animals. Let's dive in. Okunoshima Island was erased from the world maps because super-secret laboratories developing chemical weapons were located on it. This island is also known for being invaded by hundreds of wild rabbits that roam the forests and fields. Rabbit Island is located in eastern Hiroshima. As the story goes, around 1929, the Japanese government secretly tested poison gas on Okunoshima. This island was an infamous locale and was sometimes called Poison Gas Island. The rabbits were brought there for pilot purposes and some gas experiments, and when they passed them successfully, the fluffy animals were left as an honor or some kind of apology. Feeding the rabbits is allowed on Okunoshima Island. Therefore, it's become now a popular tourist attraction in Japan, with over 100,000 visitors every year. Over time, the number of visitors increased and exceeded 250,000 by 2015. To fully enjoy the following island, we'll have to move to Japan. By the way, it's not for nothing that I chose the word enjoy. After all, Aoshima Island is a paradise for cats, which means for people as well. The island is situated 8 miles off the northern coast of the main isle Sokoku, and it's famous for a huge number of cats. What you hear next will definitely surprise you. At the end of the 1940s, 1,000 residents lived on the island. The majority of them used to catch fish with their vessels. But very soon the fishing vessels were attacked by rodents who spoiled fittings, made holes in their ship's skin, and gnawed through gears. The most effective method of fighting against the rodents was cats. Each seaman brought one or two cats to his home. Barely a couple of years had passed when they became so enthusiastic that the number of cats on the island exceeded the population of people. In 2023, for example, there were only five elderly people left on the island and more than a hundred cats. And although semi-feral, the cats on Ashima are used to human visitors. Itoliko Island is considered the most terrifying island for people with arachnophobia. This island is regularly invaded by hordes of spiders, which rapidly develop, seize territories, and eject poor people. As a result, the whole coastal line including bushes, trees, and the scarce island infrastructure is devoured by the web veil of incredible density. Sticky white webs extend for about 300 yards along the shoreline of Itoliko. The webs are the handiwork of the Tetragnatha spider. Tetragnatha spiders are a genus of spiders that contained hundreds of species. Scientists believe unusual warm weather first contributed to the spread of midges and other small insects, and then spiders. Their web is very dense, and the insect falls in it doesn't have any chance of survival. The only pleasant piece of news is that the spiders of this genus are indifferent to us humans, and it seems that there's no reason for us to feel sad. I don't even know how you can keep calm under such conditions when you live there. If there's a cat island, there has to be one that's ruled by mice, right? We all know mice can be cute except when they're wiping out half of Europe's population. But this particular tale takes an ugly turn. Sometime in the 1800s, a few tiny house mice wandered off a whaling ship onto an isolated island in the South Atlantic. Mice, which mostly scavenge for insects and seeds, are seemingly not the worst invasive species you could imagine. But then the mice changed, or should we say evolved. They've adopted to become top predators, thanks to a horrifying trick they picked up, eating seabird chicks alive. While the chicks are much larger than the mice, they're basically defenseless, and their parents aren't used to fighting off predators. As the mice became carnivores, they've also grown to be much larger than a typical mouse. These giant killer mice have taken over the small island, endangering its rare seabirds, and leading researchers to plan an eradication program. Wherever mice go, they just choose destruction, don't they? Pigs may not be able to fly, but they sure can swim and there are no more beloved swimming pigs than those living on the white sand beaches of the Bahamas. Pig Beach is one of 360 islands found in the Bahamas' Exuma Caves. This island gets its name from the Exuma Pigs, which are the island's only inhabitants. There are an estimated 40 to 60 pigs and piglets on the Swimming Pigs Beach. The island itself is no longer than one mile in length, and can be traversed on foot in a matter of an hour or two. Although the island is not big in size, it receives more annual visitors than a majority of the Bahamas Islands, which were visited by 6.62 million tourists in 2018. There are various theories about how the pigs came to inhabit the island. One theory suggests that sailors left the pigs on the island to return to cook them. However, 
the sailors never returned. Another theory is that the pigs swam to the island after surviving a shipwreck. Finally, there is also a theory that the pigs were placed on the island to attract tourists to the Bahamas. All of us more than once watched films or heard some stories of people encountering sharks ashore and hardly escaping from attacks. It seemed to me those were just cinema byproducts, and nothing of this kind could have happened in real life. Anyway, it turned out I was wrong. In 2018 in Reunion belonging to France, more than 50 shark attacks happened there. Whereas between 2011 and 2016, the Reunion sharks were responsible for 20% of all the attacks of these predatory fish in the whole world. From that moment, almost the whole island was dotted with warning signs. The fishermen were banned from sailing, and people were strictly prohibited to bathe. But what was the real cause for this huge number of sharks around Reunion Island? Scientists think that this happened due to several reasons. The first one is excessive fishing, and when predatory sharks ran out of food, they just had to go looking for it near the coast. The second possible reason is muddy waters which are preferred for sharks and exist on Reunion Island. Which island impressed you the most in our episode today? Please leave a comment below in the comment section to let us know. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed our content, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Stay curious, keep exploring, and until our next adventure, thanks for watching.